Hi, this is Todd from CAD Productivity, and welcome to Civil CAD Consultant's Express Tip on using script files to process microstation commands and to place graphics using coordinate data from text files. If you have text files that contain coordinates for points, or linear features for surfaces or for geometry, and you want to place microstation graphics using these coordinates, one way is to use a script file to automate the process. You can use script files to place multiple points or cells or lines or smart lines that have multiple vertices. And script files can save you a lot of time since you don't have to manually key in the coordinates to place the graphics. So in this example, I've got a MicroStation 3D graphics file with solids for a bridge. So I've got the piers, the pier cap, the abutment. I've also got a text file containing the coordinates for the girder center lines, and I've got 11 girders total that I want to place. I want to create smart lines for each girder center line, and I can do this by turning this text file into a MicroStation script file with just a few simple steps. So to start, if you want to comment your script file, be sure to place a semicolon in front of each comment line. You can also use a pound symbol. Then you'll need to add the microstation key in for the proper placement command. For example, I want to place smart lines. So I'll start the script file with the microstation key in for the smart line command, which is just simply place smart lines. Now, if you were placing points, you could use the key in place point. If you uh, wanted to place a cell, you could use the key in AC equals in the cell name to place the active cell out of the library, etc. So I'll just use the place smart line command. And now I want to place a vertex on the smart line for every coordinate in my file. So I'll prefix each of the coordinates with an XY equals for the XY key in. Now if your coordinates are not delimited by commas, you'll need to add that as well, since that is the format of the XY key in. So I'm just going to copy and paste the XY key in as a prefix for each one of these coordinates in my file. In my case, when I'm done with the first center line, I'll need to stop processing the smart line, so just add another place smart line command after the last vertex. The first coordinate on the next line starts the new smart line. So I've edited the file for all of the girders with the placement command and the XY key in prefix for all the coordinates. Be sure to insert the placement command key in again at the very end of the, of the file to stop processing. So I'll save the file and close it. When you're ready to process the script file from the key in browser, use the at symbol and then the path and the file name of the script file. Enter to accept the key in, and the script file is processed. You can see that the script file placed the 11 girder center lines with a vertex for each coordinate from the file. The coordinates represent, in this case, the top of girder. You can also use script files to process any command in MicroStation. For example, uh, you can set the active level, active symbology, etc., uh, using the proper key ins before placing the graphics. I'm just going to undo the smart lines that were just placed and I'll go back to my script file and I'm going to add the microstation key ins for setting the active level and using the bi-level symbology. I'll save and close the script file, reprocess using the at key in. And notice now that the girders are placed using the new level and the new uh, bi-level symbology. Script files can also be processed on multiple DigiN files or models using MicroStation's batch process utility. So again, I'll undo the placement of the girders. So I'll select Utilities, Batch Process, and you can use this utility to either uh, create your script file on the fly or to load up an existing script file. I'll load up this file that places two of the girders and then 
to edit this file, I can use this button. And if you want to pause your script file to interactively work in the DGN file, you can use this command, batch process pause. So I've included that between the first and second girder. I need to select the files to run the script file on using this button. I'll pick the three files. You can also uh, use drag and drop here as well. And then to start the batch process, I select this button and process. The batch process job can be saved and opened for later recall. Thanks for watching. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to join our email list on this page and you'll be notified when we post new tips.